If you're still a bit confused about RFID technology and what is involved, well, today we're going to answer those questions. Joining me is Dan Park. Now, Dan, RFID technology, what does the hardware look like? What's involved? Well, the first thing you need is a RFID label. If your items aren't already labelled, then RFID printer of some description would be your first step. Um, we have industrial printers, desktop printers and mobile printers that can encode an RFID label and also print a barcode on that label if, you're requ if required. Um, once you have the labels, then the next thing you, you need something to read it with. So, for example, a mobile computer with an integrated RFID antenna is one option. Another option is a fixed uh, reader with connected antennas. You could say that tags are the hub of an RFID solution, that without them you can't track the items. What tags are available? The most common form is a paper-based label. Um, there are also something we call silver line, which work really well on metal objects. Um, there's also other types of tags out there, which are you know, plastic and IP rated. Um, we have even very large ones for asset tracking as well. For anyone that is considering an RFID solution, why would they choose RFID versus traditional barcodes? So barcodes definitely have a, have a place, um, but if, when it comes to RFID, there's probably four main advantages over barcodes. One is that you don't need line of sight to scan an RFID tag. The second one is you can scan many RFID tags at the same time. The third one, you can actually write to an RFID tag. And the last one is that there is a unique identifier in the tag, so it makes it harder to, um, to copy that tag. Now that we've got RFID tags on products, how can Zebra help us in reading those tags? Well, we have fixed readers and mobile readers. So the fixed readers come in two variants. One is more for a retail use case and one is more for an industrial use case. On the mobile side, we have dedicated um, integrated RFID technology into a mobile computing gun um, and also a separate gun that can Bluetooth a mobile computer. You mentioned earlier that Zebra has a range of printers that can help in uh, printing and encoding labels, RFID labels. Uh, tell me a bit more about those. So we have four main categories of printers and they all support RFID variants. So there's the industrial printer for high volume, the desktop printer, and then there's a mobile variant. And we also have a dedicated card printer for printing cards and also encoding them with RFID as well. How can Zebra help in configuring RFID solution for organisations? So we have a simple tool called 123RFID, which is a good way to configure and optimise your solution. Um, of course, we have the partner community who can write full, you know, robust solutions to suit your needs. Um, but going one step further, we have a, something we call signature services. And within that, um, we have something called RFID design. And what that entails is designing your RFID solution from end to end. Thanks, Dan, for that great overview of RFID technology. Now, if anybody wants to find out more information about Zebra's range of RFID hardware, where should they go? Get online and visit zebra.com.